Hello everyone, so today we're going to be starting with these popsicle sticks. They measure about 5 inches long by 0.6 inches wide. And I took 5 of them and I put them in a line vertically. And then I took another popsicle stick and I cut it in an angle. And I left it a little longer than halfway. I took a second one and did the same thing. Now I'm going to center those popsicle sticks and you can kind of mess around with the length of them and depending on how much you want it to hang over the edge will depend on how short you want to cut it. Now once I had them in place I drew a line and then I cut the popsicle sticks underneath on the line just so they were not hanging over the top. And I took some extra popsicle sticks and laid them across the back to just hold them in place. And then I glued the two pieces we cut before at the top. And then I took one full length popsicle stick and put it across the bottom. I then took some General Finishes Antique Walnut Gel Stain and you could probably see where I'm going with this. And I covered the entire area and then wiped off the excess with a paper towel. And even though I like the stain look, I'm going to cover it with um, Goldenrod from Wise Owl Paint. And I just like doing this because I like how it looks when the stain bleeds through the color. And then I did a second one and painted it white. Now I found these boxes from AC Moore, but I've also seen something similar at Michael's. And I covered them with the General Finishes gel stain as well. I'm using a Gen Foam brush to apply it. And then once it's covered, you just remove the excess with a paper towel. I put them aside and then I found these paper flowers from Hobby Lobby in the scrapbooking section and I just picked which ones I thought would look pretty and just decorated the front of the birdhouse. Now using the extra pieces we cut from the popsicle sticks earlier, I took some more gel stain and covered those. And then I glued them together to make a heart. And then I glued that one on top of the white bird house. Now I feel like there's so many different ways that we could decorate these and we would love to hear your ideas so just comment below. And I finished this one by just adding a couple of the paper flowers to the bottom. Now once they were both done I took the boxes and I attached the birdhouse to the front of each box. I had some dry foam and some artificial greenery and I stuck them inside the box and now you have yourself these cute birdhouse planters. I also think this is a great project you could do with your kids and they can decorate them however they want. So thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And if you enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and pass it on to your friends. We hope you have a great day.